The first thing we do is we're gonna take a, a super small sip. Um, I'm gonna pour half an ounce into a glass. From that ha half an ounce, you can get up to four different tastes out of it. So when I say small, we're talking small. Um, so we take a little teeny bit and we're gonna put it in our mouth. When we put it in our mouth, we're gonna keep our mouth closed. We do not willfully smell this at all. So even though it's up by your nose, you're not gonna smell it. <clears throat> by smelling, I mean you're not gonna try to smell it. We put a little in our mouth, close our mouth. Everybody has a natural inclination to their jaw. It will naturally pull down. This is the part that didn't come clear on the other one. It will naturally pull down to the front, touching at that point your tongue, the back of your gums, the front of your gums, underneath your tongue, your teeth, everything. You just keep it there. Don't swish it around. Don't bring air in. Nothing. If you have to breathe, breathe through your nose. We're not mouth breathers. We can breathe through our nose. So you keep the liquid there and your body is now going to do what your body's designed to do. What does your body do for an object? Saliva comes pouring in. You'll have four times as much liquid just by the saliva. So now it dilutes it itself. You don't have to add water. So now you've got it there and we're going to keep it on the tongue for literally, ready for this, 12 seconds. If you've never done this, sometimes your eyes will water. It's a physiological response some people have. Most people don't. It's like 80-20. Um, it will burn. It'll have the sensation of burning. It's not going to hurt you. It's not going to ruin your taste buds. It's the obverse, actually. It makes them better. Uh, so it's going to, the part that's on your tongue is the one that's going to burn. Then I'm going to say, I need you to now draw. So swallow your saliva real quick. That's how small the swallows are going to be. Hmm. And I'm going to watch you out of the little bit you taste to get four to six swallows. So what happens is we start here. We leave it there for 10 to 12 seconds. The alcohol seeps into the tongue separating from the phenolics, the aromas, the bouquet that come up. Our mouth's closed, they got nowhere to go but back. Think of a piece of duct tape, a silver duct tape on a hot day in Vegas. You peel it up, the glue stays behind, that's the alcohol. The tape that comes up is all the good stuff, the stuff we want to smell. So we separate that. Have I gotten rid of the alcohol? Effectively, yes. Effectively, no. We're going to use it later for another reason. So we, we peel it off, our mouth's closed, it's now set in there, it's got nowhere to go but back. Phase one, alcohol gone. Phase two, it's going back to where we smell, our retronasal cavity where the olfactory bulb is. Phase three, we're gonna do the so smalls, the uh, small swallows. So you keep the liquid here and you draw it back only when you're swallowing. In between time, I'll think about it, I'll postulate in my head, do I know that flavor? Is it, oh, do I like that flavor? Do I not like that flavor? Whatever my feelings are. You're thinking, breathe through your nose this whole time, whenever you feel like breathing. Take your time, contemplate, and when you're swallowing, I'll do this so you know when I'm swallowing and I'll count so you can see. And I'll bring it in through my nose and I'll, I'll use hand dressers because shockingly, once I start this, I'm not going to be talking because my mouth has to be closed. So I'll go through all those machinations um, and then you're, we want to heat it up. Back in the, in the day, we, had, um, we would put cognac in snifters. Our parents did. They'd put cognac in snifters and they'd twist it on this little metal contraption and they'd have a candle underneath it to heat it up. The problem with that is they were actually burning off alcoholic esters. So it was actually changing the chemical composition of the product. I don't want to do that. I literally want you to get what the distiller intended. So I don't want to baby it. I don't want to dissolve it. I don't want to put water in it. I don't want to put coke in it. I don't want to put anything in it. So as you're swallowing, what happens is your air is coming up from your, your inside. Your inside, your core, is hotter than your mouth. So now you have 100 degrees shooting up and billowing it out. 70 degrees in the room, 100 degrees and you're, we're heating it up. But now your body's doing it. Your body knows what to do, your body knows what to do. So we're not reinventing anything, we're not forcing you to smell, we're not, nothing. You'll notice I haven't said use your nose yet. There is no nose here. So that's the first part. Put it in our mouth, leave it there for 12 seconds, maybe a little more, maybe a little less. Start to pull it from here, leave it here, and draw it back in small swallows, try to get four to six. Then when you're completely done, inhale through your nose, and breathe out, then I will do phase two and phase three. But that's phase one. So first thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna show it to you so that we're on the same page. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> we always measure, and the reason we always measure is because it's designed off of this measurement. Mm -hmm. And what does that mean, it's designed off this measurement? That means that just like if you were making a recipe, and you're supposed to use a cup of sugar. If you use two cups of sugar, the recipe tastes different. So the method works differently, and it's easier for me to explain it the same way to everybody the same, by the same method. So I'm not willfully smelling it. If you have a sense to know, oh, I smelled it, don't, be, don't worry about it. That's not what we're talking about. We're talking about 
willfully smelling it. Your nose is working all day long. Mm -hmm. Just because you did that doesn't mean all of a sudden you're gonna, you know, dampen the uh, initial reaction you get. So I normally do this, where you can smell your shirt, get ready, and in we go. Watch how much and watch how little I take. I actually did that a little bit faster because I want you to do it. I did it a little bit faster than I normally would. Take your time. You do it however you want to do it, whatever you're comfortable doing it, all that. You see, you want to really just take your time when you do it. And then what you'll do is you will get a better sense of what you're tasting than you ever had before. I'm not going to tell you you're magically going to get a vocabulary to taste, but whatever vocabulary you have will come out more easily. The taste will be cleaner, more refined, and more separate. The bouquet is bigger and more beautiful. And all of a sudden, you'll be able to identify things you couldn't before.